This is my post-fight review of Tony Bellew versus Edison Miranda. I thought it was a really good fight, and I thought it was possibly one of the fight of the years in Britain this year. I, I, I thought it was a back, um, a back and forth brawl. Um, it went uh, nine rounds of, you know, pure action. Um, Tony Bellew fought very good in some some rounds. I thought, but. I thought Edison Miranda did himself proud too. I, I thought that Edison Miranda was not long past it, but I thought he was now the opponent, if you see what I mean. I thought he had now got to the stage where he was, you know, wheeled into the ring to fight guys like Bellew in order to look good, you know, for them to look good while still putting up a fight. You know, look, Glenn Johnson. I thought he had now become like Glenn Johnson, but, but like with Glenn Johnson... He did put up a fight, and you know he looked like he could win at, at some moments of the fight. Um, I thought it was a really good test for Bellew. Uh, it was definitely his hardest fight to date. I thought it was a harder fight than the Nathan Cleverly fight. Um, Miranda landed with some good shots of his own, which I think proves that Bellew has got a better chin than maybe some people thought, because he, he has been down on no less than four occasions, I think, and. You know, Miranda hit him with some good punches. Um, both of them showboated for out as if to sort of, you know, provoke the other into hitting them harder. You know, like, you know, showboating. Um, and like I said, when Bellew used his jab, when he fought intelligently, Miranda, you know, was kept on the back foot. Um, at, but when, when the brawls, um, when the brawling ensued in certain rounds... Um, Miranda did look like he had a chance of winning. So, but anyway, my overall opinion is is that I thought that Bellew did a good job in winning, and the stoppage was good. You know, he flattened him with a big left to the body. Um, I think I've read a few people on my Facebook page or on somebody else's Facebook page saying he quit. It's it's always a difficult one to tell, isn't it, whether a fighter quit in inverted commas or not? Because I mean, nobody likes being punched in the ribs, and whether you're a boxer or not, being punched in the ribs hurts. So, you know, I think it's a bit, it's a bit rude, I think, to say that any boxer quits, so to speak. You know, don't get me wrong, there are some fights like when Danny Green fought that guy in Australia a few years ago. Um, I can't even remember his name. That is how pathetic the fight was. I don't remember the name. He floored him in the first, with like a jab. He floored him with a jab up here. He like jabbed him like that. Yeah, and he went down, you know, ooh. If that that was a joke, um, but for the most part, fighters don't quit. So anyway, good stoppage in my opinion, good fight, and now I'm looking forward to what Bellew can do next. I'm hoping. I don't think we should get carried away though. I although he beat Edison Miranda, good win, and although I thought he did very well against Cleverly, could have gone either way. And Cleverly is another sort of world level fighter, not elite, but world level. I don't think we should get carried away in saying that Bellew should fight Tavoris Cloud next or Jean Pascal because they are elite light heavyweights, whereas Bellew is like an upcoming. He needs to fight some more Edison Mirandas of the world, in my opinion. So I think um, fights with guys like um, <coughs> fights with guys like Edward Goodnecht that might be a good win, a good fight. Somebody like that Russian guy, Suk Suktonevsky, is that it? Suktonevsky, I think. You'll have to check the box rec for all these names to be pronounced properly. Um, Cornelius White, I thought that'd be, a, I th think that would be a really good fight for him. Cornelius White, um, a sort of KO artist, but can be knocked out as well. Maybe US debut against Cornelius White, although I think that would be a bit of a dangerous um, one. And there's there's some other sort of guys of that sort of level. Um, I think they're the sort of fights he should be aiming for next. Sort of like European class light heavyweight who have just made it onto the world scene themselves. A fight about, you know, four or five guys like that for the next year or so. And then maybe push up to um, to fight guys like Jean Pascal if he makes the grade. Because don't forget, he can lose some of those. So if he beats guys like that, four or five of them, yeah, step up to... Um, to the Tavoris clouds of the world and the Gabrielle Campilos and see how well he does. But I'd say not for about at least another 18 months. Um, but it will be a fun journey because I think he's he's 
got a lot of good credentials, but only time will tell as to how good he actually is. All right.